What is up, everybody? It's Coach Matt O'Brien again. I'll be your teeter move trainer for today. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope you're ready to get working. We all have something to be thankful for. I'm thankful that we get to work out together. So today we're gonna do an upper body, basic level workout, and we're gonna be moving the whole time. So I want you to stay with me. We're gonna be using just the cradle handles here and doing upper body, but we're gonna be moving the total body. So stay with me, I'm grabbing the left handle. And what we're gonna start with is some cable flies. You don't need much tension on here. So I got it set at two. So we're starting really light. We're gonna warm up this left shoulder with some cable flies. Just nice and smooth. Feel these deltoid muscles contracting, keeping that arm straight. Nice and slow, subtle transitions, and just feel the movement. We're gonna do about 10 reps together. This is a together workout, love it. I think this is number nine and 10. All right, so we're gonna go to a row, which is a much stronger movement. So whatever number you have it on, let's double it. All right, so I'm cranking mine up to four for this first round. So my right foot is on. I'm getting to a little bit of a lunge. If your knees hurt, just don't flex the knees, stay above the pain, I like to say. I want you to reach forward, push that chest out so the back is nice and flat. Draw that belly in, tighten that core, and we're gonna pull to the rib, all right? Stretch, pull. I'm keeping the shoulder down, the trapezius, this should be relaxed. Pulling in. Get a nice row. So this is for your back and biceps. So if you like to wear tank tops, bikini tops, ladies, sports bras, these are all those muscles are gonna be showing off today. Those shoulders and arms and back. Nice and smooth. You can see this first round, everything is smooth. We got two more, one more and down. So we're gonna do, turn it back down. We're gonna do this one more time. I'm going back to two. If you're ready for a little more tension, let's crank it up. I'm gonna go to 2.5 for the second set. Back to our flies, nice and smooth. Arm is straight. If you kind of think of uh, pouring a pitcher of water, because we don't drink sugar, right? Or unsweet tea, we're gonna Pour that pitcher out at the top. So you're kind of rotating your wrist a little bit at the top to get a full contraction. Should feel those muscles. Oh yeah, love it. So this set to be a little bit harder. We're getting nice and warm. Let's do one more after this. All right. All right, so based on your last set, whatever you felt, Let's crank it up a notch for the row. Remember last time I went to four, so I'm gonna go up to five, full point higher for this set. I'm gonna sink into that split lunge, chest out, back flat, reach forward, shoulders relaxed. Pull to the rib, not past the rib. You don't wanna try to get way back here and hyperextend your shoulder. Right into the rib, nice and smooth. Oh yeah. And then as you pull, I'm gonna let you in on a little coach secret. When you're here, you're pushing that shoulder down. This muscle, the lat, you're gonna really feel a strong contraction, get a full contraction. So I'm depressing my shoulder as I pull in. Nice. Feeling it? Come on. Love to work out. It's such an amazing way to feel amazing. An amazing way to feel amazing. All right, so that was our second set. We're gonna do the other side, but before we do that, we're gonna march it out. So we're gonna march for 30 seconds, just easy march. Get that body moving and grooving. And you guys can tell me how you're feeling. Shout it to the TV or whatever you're watching on your phone, a tablet, your computer. Still trying to figure out how to live stream on my TV. These smart TVs, I guess you gotta be smarter than the TV. 
All right, we have 10 more seconds. Just pumping those knees, whatever's comfortable for you. Movement is the magic. Don't forget that. Move the body. All right. So now we're gonna go to the right side. Remember, I gotta crank that tension back down because we had it up to five. I'm gonna go all the way back down to two because we're starting on a new arm, Mr. Right here, or Mrs. Right, or Miss Right. So we're gonna, you're gonna be able to see what's happening from behind now, if you're watching. Hopefully you're working. And we're doing our side lateral raise, first set. So I love the fit form, it's so, Convenient, so many different exercises you can do. Easy to move it around. Doesn't take up a lot of space. You should tell your friends about this machine so they can come work out with you. You can drag it to your friend's house, set them up in the driveway, work out together. I always like to say misery loves company. Not that this is miserable, but when you work really hard, some people think it's miserable. So we're gonna go to double that to four. Now, left foot forward, staggered lunge, right foot back, safety down a little bit, feel those muscles activate. Shoulder depressed, stretch chest out, belly in, we're gonna pull to the ribs. Keep that shoulder down, remember my little coaching trick? As you're pulling in, Push that shoulder or elbow towards the floor. You're really gonna feel that lat contract. Latissimus dorsi, that's the biggest muscle in your back. So you wanna make sure you get all of it while you're doing these low rows. Six or seven, I don't know. I always train to a feeling, or I call it training to the pain, where the muscles get fatigued. I don't really, Count reps, I try to get in that 10 to 15 rep range for strength training. And that's gonna give us the hypertrophy or the adaptation response that we're looking for in strength training. So last time we were at two, I'm gonna go to 2.5 this time. For the second set, here we go. Nice. I'm keeping my foot on the platform just for stability. So the machine doesn't go anywhere. For you strong people, you might have a lot more tension on there than me. So this keeps it from moving. If you have a have it on a slick floor, make sure you tape your teeter mat to the floor, the little double-sided tape. Then you'll be set, it won't go anywhere. A little coaching trick for you. I know hardwood floors and tile floors are really popular these days. All right, I'm really feeling the burn now. Hopefully you are too. So remember we cranked it up to five, or at least I did. Do what is right for you. You may want more than five. So left foot forward on the platform, right foot back. We call this a stagger stance or a split lunge stance. Sink down, feel those muscles engage. Should feel this muscle too. Your glute max and pull. Rowing into the ribs, shoulders depressed, elbow pointed to the floor, chest out, belly in. Feel it. Now I just want you to feel it. I'm gonna be quiet as you squeeze. Nice. I want you to tune your mind to those contracting muscles. We call that the mind-muscle connection. There's an advantage to it. A lot of strength training is neurological. It's programming your mind to innervate with the nerves that connect to your muscles. So mind-muscle connection is for real. So you really wanna visualize those contracting muscles as you're working. So now we're gonna get off the body, uh, off the free form and move that body again. We'll do 30 seconds of our march outs, nice and easy. If you want more aggressive, you can Certainly do this fast and pump really fast, but most we're just trying to move that body. Movement is the magic. You may get tired of hearing me say that, but I'm gonna plant that seed. Don't move it, you lose it. Or you don't use it, you lose it. Either one is accurate. Move that body, 
Just moving your body circulates blood flow, clears out metabolic waste. It's gonna make you younger. I'm trying to, Strong is Young is actually one of the books I'm working on, my second book. All right, everybody feeling good? So we did the shoulders and the lats. Now we're gonna work a little bit of legs. We're gonna use the handles here for stability. So I want you to really crank the tension up because it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be pulling the tension, but you want it to be enough to give you some support here. You can see it's just, it's not moving. I'm gonna crank that a little bit less. So the handle's gonna be moving a little bit. Squatting head up, chest out, and I'm standing and I'm squeezing my butt muscles. You want those side dimples in the bathing suit, this will help you out. So we're working all the muscles of the lower body, head up, chest out, squeeze. Nice. So you want enough tension to feel it, but not so much that you can't move at all. That's not good, not what we're looking for. So nice, slow squats. On squats, I always tell people, and I'm telling you, stay above the pain. So a lot of us have creaky hips and knees from wear and tear. So if you hurt at a certain joint angle, stay above that pain. So even if it's a shallow squat here, doesn't matter. You're still gonna get the advantage of these big muscles at the top. So the other thing is you wanna keep weight in the heels. So that's why you want enough tension you can lean back. And that's gonna take pressure off your knees too. You don't want those knees to come out over the toes. You wanna sit back and contract. We're gonna do two more. And one more. All right. Hopefully that feels nice for you guys. So I have 12 on here. I'm gonna crank it down to four because we're gonna superset or go back to back like we did with the shoulders and lats with some biceps. We call that the gun show. The old joke was, do you have your tickets to what? To the gun show. So these are the guns. We're gonna work those biceps. Stand neutral on the platform, head up, chest out. Keep those elbows pinned to your wrist. I'm rotating my palms towards my face, and then at the bottom, they're towards my thighs. So internal rotation here, and then external rotation back, all right? So that's actually working the brachioradialis. You have the biceps brachii, biceps bra or brachi brachioradialis. That's a mouthful. Uh, so that little rotation is gonna activate more muscles. So we're squeezing up, you feel that? Mind muscle connection. Hope you're enjoying this workout so far. Nice, we're gonna do four more. Working the gun show. We're gonna be working the triceps too, so those are coming up. Head up, chest out. One more. And squeeze, hold, really squeeze those grips. All right, so now we're gonna crank that tension back on. Remember I cranked it to 12 last time. Whatever works for you where you can still stand all the way up here into our squats. Really, this is replicating a deadlift, which is one of the best exercises you can do, a free weight exercise in the gym. So that's why I love the fit form. With this one piece of equipment, you can replicate hundreds and hundreds of exercises that you can at a commercial gym. One that has machines and free weights. You get the best of both worlds. Head up, chest out, back flat, squeeze. And up. Really want you to work. This is a total body exercise, depending on how much tension you have on there. Head up, chest out, squeeze those buttocks. Nice, we're gonna do two extra here. Squeeze one more. And up. All right, 
Feel that booty? Come on. Let me hear it. Come on. Participate. Yell at the TV. Let me hear ya. We are having some fun. I'm cranking it down to six this time. So I went up a little bit for my bicep curls. But work attention that you actually feel, whatever it is. That's the beauty of having the variable tension on this fit form. You can make it your workout. If you don't have enough tension on there, it's kind of like what I call going through the motions or walking in the gym. It's better than not moving, but you want enough resistance that your body has to work. That's why they call it working out, not resting out. Work it, squeeze. Just be thankful that you have the ability to move your body. Gratitude is the best attitude. It actually lowers cortisol. If you're worried about belly fat, when your cortisol is too high, your body's gonna stimulate your appetite and you're gonna store belly fat a little bit easier. So gratitude lowers cortisol. So for no other reason, do that. There you go, a little coaching tip for you. Everybody, unless you're different everybody doesn't want that belly fat i know we're trying to do our best so how's everybody's biceps feeling hope you're feeling amazing so i'm gonna put those down we're gonna do a slightly different movement now let's go side to side so stand behind your fit form we're gonna pivot off this right leg straddle out on the left just a little baby squat keeping this right leg straight and what I'm doing in the mind-muscle connection, I want you to visualize pulling yourself back with this muscle, pushing off with this one. So you're getting two for one, single leg lateral lunge, or really getting a single leg squat and a lateral lunge combined if you do it this way. Pushing that butt back. I like to kind of go into my praying position here, being thankful. We're gonna do uh, four more. The goal is 10. Nice. Down and let's do two more. And last one, make it a good one and squeeze it up. Y'all guys feeling great? Come on, shout it out. When you exude emotion, uh, emotion, motion it creates, creates emotion. Tony Robbins loves to say that. Motion creates emotion. So let's create some good emotions. Now we're going to the right, squatting on this right leg, pulling with the left inner thigh. If you want a little more tension, depending on your floor surface, you can actually drag your foot back. Create a little bit more resistance as you're coming out of that lateral lunge. Oh, are you still with me? If you're staying with this workout, we've been moving for coming up on 19 minutes now feel good about that you can be grateful for that because we are having an amazing workout got the triceps coming up one more and all right should be feeling amazing right now we're going to do a single arm exercise for the triceps part two or the sequel to the gun show we did the biceps now we're going to do the triceps so I'm gonna turn it down to about four. The key with kickbacks is you don't want so much tension that you can't get that full contraction. So the straddle or split lunge that we use for the row, same idea, but I want you to rest with your elbow on the opposite knee here, in this case the right, to flatten your back so you can lift that elbow up. So you want the upper arm parallel to the ground so you can get the maximum tricep contraction. So these are your classic kickbacks. We're squeezing. This is the one where you're gonna really wanna get that mind-muscle connection. That's number three. Squeeze, four, five, and six. I'm being quiet so we can focus our mind into the muscle. One more, and 10. 
Fantastic. Now we're gonna do the left arm, kind of mixing it up. We're going, sorry, the right arm, that was the left. Sometimes I get those mixed up. My military days, you used to say the military right. If you did the wrong, if you use your left, they say, no, you're military right. All right, so now my back arm, my right, I'm bracing with my left here, stabilizing my upper body. Elbows high, get that nice extension. You want your shoulder aligned with the pulley. So I'm perfectly even with that, my right shoulder with this right pulley. The upper arm is parallel to the floor. Remember your geometry, I think, parallel lines. Or just think of it as horizontal as much as possible. And squeeze four more good ones. Two. Nice. Okay, so the second part of this superset is gonna be, I'm gonna give you guys a bonus because I'm feeling the love. Shout out the TV, say, give it to me, Coach Matt, because we're gonna give you a little bit of a double whammy here. We're gonna add a curl to shoulder press. So we did those individual curls last time. We're gonna do this together into this palm, facing palm rear position. And then I want you to press those arms up and down. Curl and press. So we're two reps in. If it is too heavy or too light, I'm gonna give you about five seconds to adjust. Make it right. You want enough tension to feel some resistance, but not so much that you can't do the movement to your full range of motion. One of my mentors, PhD said your movement or your form with strength training should be good enough to not get hurt, but bad enough to know you're working hard. Think about that. Good enough not to get hurt, but bad enough to know you're working hard because intensity is what really produces results. But you don't want to go so intense that you hurt yourself and have a setback. So you gotta find the balance, but it would be really difficult to hurt yourself on this fit for machine because of the smooth mechanics. You're not gonna get rapid loading like you would from a cable selectorized machine. You're not gonna have any form issues like you would with free weights. You can't drop a dumbbell on your foot. So a lot of good things about the teeter. All right, so I'm gonna put those back in the cradle. We're gonna do some more movement now. All right, so this one, I want you to modify to your abilities. It's gonna be a forward lunge, partial lunge. So you're gonna go down just a little bit. That's about 45 degrees, this is 90. We're only gonna do 45, so about a half lunge. You wanna drop down, keeping that torso upright. Nice, we're gonna do 10 reps, that's three, four. If you're feeling knee pain, a lot of times what happens is you kind of don't step out far enough and your knee goes over the toe, see that? You don't want that, you want to stride out far enough that when you're at this 45 degrees, my toe's here, my knee's still behind it. All right, so that's a little safety tip for you. And if you wanna add some style points, you can take that right arm across to the left knee. All right. You guys are doing awesome. We've been moving for coming up on 25 minutes. So good. You should be proud of yourselves. We're gonna do the right leg now. Left elbow, yes. Feeling great now, just movement. Creates that positive emotion. We had some gratitude. Attitude of gratitude, hope you remember that. Lowers that cortisol levels. Be thankful for being alive. Be thankful if you have friends, reach out to them and tell them so. People need to hear appreciation. 
you're gonna change somebody's life if you just let them know, you know, that they make a difference in your life. So often we just kind of keep that to ourselves. Let somebody know, change their life, make their day. All right, okay. One more round, hopefully you are feeling great. We're gonna do our kickback. Here's an opportunity if you wanna crank up the tension. If last time you didn't get like that really good muscular contraction pain, tighten it up, add some resistance, all right? So I'm braced on my right foot, elbows up, kick that back. Good squeeze. Thank you guys for working out with me. I literally am visualizing you right now. I'm looking at you. I'm just thinking of you on the other side of the screen, working out with me, and that makes me happy. So, thank you. And hopefully you'll check out some more of our workouts here on Teeter Move. Give us some feedback, what you like, what you don't like. Let them know, because we can change it. We can make it whatever you want. If this is something you like, let the teeter peeps know so we can bring you some more. All right, so now I'm doing the right elbow, using my left to brace on that left knee, elbow up, kick it back. Squeeze. Woo! Blue, the shirt I'm wearing, is my favorite color. You know why? Because it makes me happy. So, I love wearing blue. You probably have your favorite color. Happiness is a choice. Just gotta think it. You focus on things that make you upset, Guess what? You're gonna be upset. Focus on things that make you happy, you'll be happy. So choose happiness. You can train that muscle like anything else, the mind muscle. So blue makes me happy, so I just look and go, nice, I'm happy. All right. So now we're almost done. We're gonna crank this up for those bonus curl to shoulder press. Knees slightly bent, we're gonna curl up and press. You can also do this, you know what? This set, let's do it single arm so you can feel the difference. And if you wanna upgrade, if you feel more advanced, you can actually balance on one foot. I usually do the opposite foot and press. So that's gonna upgrade this movement, make the neurological development because you're adding balance and then your body has to work a lot harder to stabilize through a balance movement. But let's do it with both feet on the ground. Single arm up, nice curl, press and extend. And you can actually adjust your hip if you need to, where you get that full extension. You're really gonna see the gun show now. So pressing movements overhead. This hurts your shoulder. A lot of times if you're new to movement, your overhead movement's gonna kind of be forward because you don't have the mobility to go up. So make sure you're doing some of those shoulder mobility stretches so you can go vertical on this pressing pattern. So we're gonna do two more. If that's not enough to get your burn, do as many as it takes. And I hope we're doing two sets through today. You can come back through and do a third set. You can even do a fourth set. But, so I'm gonna do the right arm. I'll show you that balance again. Balance on my left leg. You're gonna wanna go slower so your body has an opportunity to adapt and press. So this is a big time neurological upgrade that you can do on the teeter. We call that functional training. If you see how they train athletes, might even put them on a balance board to upgrade it from there, but just anything that requires balance and stability is gonna upgrade any, even these basic movement patterns that we're doing. So let's do two more. And 
One more. All right. So we got one more set of lunges. This time we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna do a rear lunge. So we went forward last time. Now we're gonna step back with the right leg, drop to that 45 degrees, stay above the knee pain, hips are aligned, and we're stepping forward. Down, up, down, up. We are almost done. Just have one little core finisher after we finish these rear lunges. My knee is way behind my toes. What I find with the clients I've trained over the last 22 years, oftentimes if the forward lunge hurts, the rear lunge doesn't and vice versa. So if this is painful for you, you can just replace it with those forward lunges. But you are working different muscle groups. This one's gonna hit more of the glute because I'm stepping into the lifting my weight forward instead of pushing it backwards on the forward lunge. So the rear lunge, more glute, forward lunge, more quad. In case you were wondering. Let's do one more. Boom. Now we're gonna do left leg coming back. Y'all feeling good? Last time, shout it out. Let me hear you, come on. Loving exercise is your friend. Exercise is medicine. My first book called The Magic Pill. What do you think is the magic pill? I get to ask that all the time. Where can I buy the magic pill? Besides Amazon, you can actually, there is no magic pill. It's a metaphor for exercise. Movement is the magic pill. You guys are moving. You're taking your magic pill today. One more good rep and boom. All right, for the cherry on top today, everybody loves to work their core. We're gonna do a low to high wood chop and we're gonna actually integrate or incorporate a partial squat into the movement. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure your tension is dialed in. I'm gonna even give this a test. So. I have mine on five, I'm gonna crank it to seven. So inside hand is on the handle. Right foot, I'm facing you guys. Right foot is in the center of the platform because depending on how strong you are, you definitely wanna push into the platform so it doesn't slide or move. Hold the handle, inside hand. Outside hand comes over top, compress those together. We're gonna turn towards the pulley pushing on this inner foot, extend, stand, rotate. So I'm coming out even with the left hip. You got it? So let's do this slowly, down, extend, twist. Down, extend, twist. So when I extend, I'm extending this leg. So 80% of your weight should be on this leg. Here, boom. Now I'm just gonna add a little velocity, boom. Five, six, you should feel those right butt cheek burning. Got two more, three more, two more. And one, all right. So I'm gonna replace this in the cradle. We're gonna do the left leg. I'll be facing away from you guys. Get to see the booty. Inside hand on the handle, outside hand over top. Foot's in the center of the platform. I'm rotating. So my, if I had an arrow sticking out of my sternum, not a good thing, but visualize it. Should be pointing right at the pulley. And then here, it's pointing slightly just past 90 degrees. So towards the pulley, extend that leg off to the right hip. Now we'll add a little speed. You can see it from a different angle now. I'm rotating the, core, the torso and I'm getting a really good glute exercise on this left leg, on this left glute max. We'll do three more, two and one. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna put that back in the cradle and just thank you guys for working out with me, doing something wonderful for your health. 
Hopefully you're feeling amazing right now like I am. The endorphins are flowing. The dopamine is flowing. So many good benefits, serotonin, epinephrine. I call that the daily dose. Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, epinephrine. All those happy chemicals and motivating chemicals are flowing in your mind and in your body. So feel thankful, I'm grateful for you. Hope you enjoyed this workout. You did an amazing job. Go tell somebody you love them today and I'll catch you on the next workout. Check out all the amazing workouts in Teeter Move and I'll see you next time. Coach Matt, have a great day.